Welcome, people of the world, to The Last of Us Part 2. The final episode, or part, gameplay, whatever you want to call it. If you missed my last video, make sure to go check it out, because it's very important. And if you missed it already, we're back from our adventure to kill Abby, or from killing Abby. And now we're back at the farm. And Dean is not here. So let's check it out. And stuff is definitely going down because, um, Ellie lost her two fingers. And that's not good. Her pinky and her ring finger. So, um, yeah. Dina and JJ aren't, aren't here. And now we're looking for them. I'm gonna go in that door, just one second. Oh my god, our bedroom! Where's all my stuff? I think throughout this whole gameplay, you can see Ellie's personality change. How she becomes. Like, who she really is as a person. And if she's willing to forgive Joel, she can forgive Abby. So I think that's basically what's going on. Because when you think about it, like, revenge isn't going to bring back Joel. In some cases, it's not always the answer. Oh, my art room. And during our fight with Abby in my last episode, if you didn't see... When um, Ellie touched her wound on her side right here, there was blood coming out when she saw the blood on her hand. She remembered Joel on the porch. So, I guess that tells you something about Ellie. All oh, the record that Dina likes. She left it? We have to make it up to her. Come on. Joel's guitar? Aww. Are we gonna sing his song? Here we go. song oh our fingers that's why we can't play it but it's a song if I ever were to lose you I'd lose myself oh my god that makes me upset I'm about to cry was like years ago. What are you drinking? Coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. 
What'd you trade? I had Seth under control. Oh, this is after. Yeah. This is after the dance. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> No, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. Look, I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but. But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Oh, thanks, Joel. You're such an asshole. What? I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. He feels guilt. You can tell. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. It's a start. Hug it out. I'll see you around. Yep. <clears throat> oh, he's crying too. I'm about to cry. Oh my god. Joel. You did the right thing, Ellie. I'm proud of you. Now we just gotta figure out what to do. So Dina can forgive us. No, his guitar. going Dina? <gasps> That's it! Wow. That was actually 
actually incredible. Clap it up. Woo! That's kind of a cliffhanger. Because now what's Ellie going to do? That was crazy cool. I like that a lot. I don't get why people are hating on it. Cause you can tell like throughout the whole gameplay, Ellie kind of like lost herself. Cause she was so focused on revenge. And just like the song Joel played, if I ever were to lose you, I'd lose myself. And that's basically what happened. Right thing though, in the end. Wow, that was good. But now I want to know what happens. Is she going back to Jackson? actually showed us the scene where um Ellie forgave Joel to bring it all together that was nice I like that soundtrack That's all I can say. It's just wow. That was something. Recommend 10 out of 10.
really did kill Abby. What were we gonna do with with Lev? We're not just gonna like kill a kid. It wouldn't be right. So I kinda I kinda understand why she made that decision. But in the process, when you think about it, in the process, she left Dina. And now Dina left her. Special thanks to the kennel. Wow, naughty dog. Did good. Now we need a DLC. See what happens. Okay. Wow. Oh! It changed! Play through the game again with all upgrades and equipment obtained from a previous playthrough. Cool! Oh my god, we finished it! What I had to do. I think she did... Or made the right decision. Because when you think about it, it's like... She, I don't know. I think she did the right thing because she lost herself trying to get revenge for Joel. And when you think about it, it's not who she is. A revenge person. I think. All right, that's that's what I at least at least that's what I think. But man, that was good. I recommend it. Wow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And for coming along with this journey. And how it turned out. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I think this was good. She, um... Did the right thing not going for revenge. But when you think about it. If she didn't want to kill Abby in the first place, because she wanted to do the right thing, she should have just stayed with Dina, and everything would have been fine. But she let Tommy get in her head, so that's what really, like, messed her up. And then now she has PTSD, and now she lost two fingers along the way. But wow, I'm so shocked. Just sitting here shocked. 
Oh, wow. That was incredible. I like that a lot. Wow. Um, I don't even know what else to think. Besides, it was like... I'm impressed. But now I'm... Like, confused. Because if Ellie left the farm, then where's she going? To get Dina back? And JJ? And, like, apologize? Maybe? And I wonder what Tommy's gonna think. Once he finds out Abby's... Abby's alive. But she's trying to take care of Lev. So when you think about it, it's like... She didn't even want to fight Ellie in the first place. Her main goal was Joel. So it's like... I get it, kind of, but... I guess in this case, revenge is not always the answer. You can forgive others. But anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. Any other games you guys would like to see me play. And um. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming along. To this journey. Of The Last of Us Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram. At AlexisPOV19. I'll have it up on the screen right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.